how to model an inset shaker upper cabinet. Super easy, I'm gonna start with a rectangle, uh, make that the correct size, push pull that upwards, we're gonna do 36 inches, and then I'm going to use the offset tool to create a three quarters of an inch offset, and then bring in that inside area, carve it out, make the inside cabinet. From there, I'm gonna use the push pull tool and bring the face that's on the outside front inwards, three quarters of an inch, and then use the push pull tool with the control modifier to extend that outwards three quarters of an inch. That's gonna create the, uh, the fronts of my cabinet, which I'm gonna use the push pull tool, bring that down another three fourths of an inch to create a one and a half inch area on the sides of my cabinet. Then I'm gonna create the door using the rectangle tool. I'm gonna use the offset tool, uh, one eighth of an inch uh, to create that seam between the cabinet and the door. I'm going to delete that face and then uh, make sure to group your door as well. Then use the push pull tool to extend that into the cabinet three quarters of an inch to create your three dimensional door. Then use the offset tool two and a half inches to create the shaker style. Push pull that in a quarter of an inch and there you have it. There's our inset shaker upper cabinet. And you can hide that door and you can see the inside of the cabinet, bring that door back and there's your beautiful unit. Or if you wanted to skip all that, you could access my Focus 3D Club, which has over uh, several thousand cabinets, all pre-made. You can drop into your models super easy. But as part of watching this video, you get access to a free sample pack of 20 cabinets. Just comment the word you see here and I'll send you the pack and make sure to follow for more tips like this.